telling who's on, or you don't, you don't do that with... Yeah, I, ha I... Oh, didn't... Yeah, I have my computer down here. Hello, friends. Hello, hello, hello. And welcome to the basement. Well, we have a very, very special guest here today. His name is JR. <laughs> <laughs> and he's going to try his best not to be goofy, right? So, um, let me find us on YouTube here, and I'm, I'm writing video. I'm writing YouTube as our password. <laughs> so, um, welcome. Um, I am, we are Ellen J. Goods. And we are here in Medina, New York. What, about halfway between Buffalo and Rochester? Yes, dear. About an hour south of the Canadian border. I guess however you look at it, yeah, or an hour west or east of the border where you have to cross unless you're going by boat. Oh, my gosh. Well, you guys are going to hear the whole deal today. Like, what it's really like working together. <laughs> Because we are just about at the at our wits end this week, right? <laughs> no, no. Okay, so let's see if we've got anybody here. But um, I like to say we're we're in Western New York and we're easily accessible from Canada, Pennsylvania, mm -hmm. um, Ohio, Montana. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay, we have some people watching today. Let's, um, hi Mary Jo. Um, let me see. Thank you, Callie. Hi, Betty. Hi, Jeannie. And Karen Attenberg. Yeah, JR is here today. So, you guys, you have to. I sent, uh, I, po I posted on Facebook today a picture of this little, this birdhouse nesting box kind of thing, more of a decor piece. And I asked you all to, like, help me to convince JR. He needs to do it, doesn't he? Um, yes, he did make it. Hello. Hi, Joan. Welcome from Miss Wisconsin. Um, we have someone from Texas. There's Marilyn. Hi, Patrice. There's Cheryl. Hey, it's Cheryl. And D Hub. We have all of our friends here today. You know what? I sent out the text. And it showed a picture of you and I. Yes. And that clickbait teaser, like what it's really like working together. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's why people are watching. <laughs> right? <laughs> you know, I'm only going to be oh on the camera. Oh my gosh. 15 oh. minutes. That's it. And I'm Hello. Out. Diane is here from Central California. Betty's from Texas, too. We've got everybody. Well, guess what? We, um, we're going to work on a little project today. And of course, when we first started discussing this, we pulled out like all kinds of stuff because JR's like, listen, we need to get this cleaned out and the quicker we can get this stuff done and faster it can get upstairs to be on the sales floor, the better. Choose your weapon. <laughs> and, and then we honestly, we thought better of it and like, no, no, no it's too much. So um, we're going to be working on a project today that is actually, it's a table. We're going to bring that over here in a minute. Um, actually, maybe we should start on that and then finish up with these. Oh, How about that? Because I'll have to prep. Clean yes, and not good, weapons. good, good, good. Right. Um, so we've kind of gone round and round about this piece. I will, I will say you and I have gone a little bit round and round about it. But um, this is a beautiful, beautiful old table and or cabinet. I mean, it is gorgeous, right? Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. And so how have we gone round and round about this, dear? It was, uh, you said basically, uh, we're not going to paint it. Cannot paint good wood. <laughs> No. But it is beautiful. It's in great condition. It did have a marble top. Previously. Previously. Was it broken? No, we never we had just it. never we just never had a top to it. Nope. But these kind of cabinets, you guys, you know, they're just so hard to find. And they're 
highly desirable when you have a narrow small piece with a door or a drawer bonus if it has both a door and a drawer um, mm -hmm. so people love them and and it has been sitting over in your barn for how long three three so years three or four years yeah seriously so jr's we're cleaning, dust. we're cleaning out the basement and we're cleaning out the barn so um here's what we're gonna do it, yeah it is hard to find them um <laughs> lord has said are you gonna make that little nesting box for lynn Actually, I know about 60 people that would like it for themselves. You will not get a count at home. Oh, okay. We can't. Oh, wow. So um, so this is a piece. It was without the marble top. Mm -hmm. And so then I think, didn't you, you kind of check to see. To get a piece of marble cut. And what was. For the, uh, because it was specialized, it was going to be. Two hundred, two hundred seventy-five dollars to do that. I went. I actually made. Oh, okay. Everything's okay. Oh, now you sound like me. Yeah. I made a base. So you have. There you go. And it would go on there. It's the same size, and they would just copy this by putting a band a little mm -hmm. bit wider than what that is. Well, you don't need to do that because we've created this base. Or top, I should say. And well, this do with it? this top right here. So you cut this out of wood that you had yeah. over there, right? Mm -hmm. Scrap wood or well, yeah. whatever it was. Mm -hmm. And we, um, so we decided. Well, you had actually suggested maybe we do. I would do my that faux marble technique on mm -hmm. there, and I love I love that technique. But um, I yeah I just I just it's a didn't process. want it. It is a process, mm -hmm. and again we have to think about how much time are we putting into this, and what can we sell it for? What can we take it home for? We're not taking this home. I'm kidding? What? Really? No. No. Okay. Um, Make a we nice don't side table. For it me. would. It would. Oh, I have the cutest little chippy white side table next to his recliner and it's fine. Oh, and he keeps saying you know if this was uh painted with and it was like it's so cute though it's perfect cottage style i have my wood shops how's that yes he has a cottage. you do yeah i have and my he, office i have the third floor that's yeah it. he he's literally put you have put like a nine hole golf course oh, about yeah. it <laughs> On the third Just floor. The, the <laughs> net. That's all. Oh, so then we, we kind of came to loggerheads about the the marble finish on the top, and then it sat for a while longer down here. Mm -hmm. And um, this morning I said, Well, let me let's just paint the top of it. And I'm like, how about decoupaging the top of it? Then it was you said neutral. No, no florals. florals. No florals. No. So we did come to an agreement. We compromised. Um, and we decided on this beautiful decoupage queen rice paper. And this is what we're going to use. A floral. It is a floral, but it's really Very deep and moody mm -hmm. and dark. And I think it'll look really awesome with this. Just like me. Yeah. And then you were like, no paint. So tell them, tell the people what we're going to do with, um, with the base of it and why you love this particular product so much. Do I put it right out? Well, we want to see your beautiful face and I'm going to begin base coating this table. We're going to use fusion hemp oil. Mm -hmm. And that's what we're using. Yep. And start with one coat. We'll see where that takes us. We can possibly go do a second coat if you want to bring the shine up. But the hemp will kind of renew the look. There's no question. And we're going to show you a couple other projects or other objects mm -hmm. that we'll do the hemp oil with too. So, so why do we love hemp oil? It's natural. Okay. This It's soap and water cleanup. Okay. We sell it. <laughs> we sell it. Yes. We sell it. JR, you can't do that. Why can't um, I? Because.
it is and we can't um but it's all yeah it's natural it's a natural it's a product natural. Mm -hmm. and it really does um it's fusion awesome. what this is betty this is fusion hemp oil hemp oil h-e-m-p yeah. when i get this video uploaded i'm going to throw all the products that we use into the description box so um it reconditions the wood, adds more moisture, more moisture into the wood. Thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So we're gonna, that's what we're gonna, how we're gonna treat this. It's an old, old oak finish, and it's in pretty good shape, right? I think this is mahogany. Mahogany, is it? That, but that grain looks like mahogany. Oak. Okay. All right, so JR is gonna put hemp oil on the bottom of this while I work on. Um, the top here. Oh, Perfect. on the bottom. On, oh, on oh, this. On. Yes. You can okay. even come around to the other side if you want to. Well, I gotta grab my half oil. Okay. So I hope everybody's having a wonderful day. And um, okay, I'm gonna show you another little trick because I've, I've turned a new leaf as far as cleaning my paint, uh, my paint jars. Actually, um, I'm not going to clean my paint jars anymore. What I'm doing is Donna, my friend Donna from Funky Junk Interiors, actually said, Lynn, use my method. So I took the top off, drilled a hole down through the top, and then I literally use this like a little pour spout and then cover the hole with tape. It has been working like a charm. I just love the whole the whole idea of it. And so, um, yeah, that's what we're doing. So I did a base coat with, um, oh, this is just Fusion Raw Silk because I happen to have it on hand, but I'm doing a lighter color as a base coat on this. I want to seal up this wood before I add the decoupage finish to the top, okay? And uh, it doesn't have to be a perfect smooth coat, absolutely not. But then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do this edge because it has this beautiful uh, trimmed out edge here that Mr. JR um, did. You routed it, right? Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna use a cappuccino um, stain and finishing oil by Fusion. And I'm gonna do the edge of this so that it kind of it blends in with this finish a little bit better okay okay so um marty mattoon says do you ever feel outnumbered i came from a family of four sisters girl cousins growing up <laughs> do you ever feel outnumbered here oh and i never thought of it but yes i do you do Somebody okay asked me about that the other day says Four women, and but I'd rather work with women. Not nothing wrong with the men, but really, yeah. that's interesting. And they're saying you're, not every you're day, a little though. muffled. <laughs> not every day. Not no. every day. Not your wife every day. I try not. Oh my god! Because I gotta live with you. Well, excuse me. <laughs> I want our time together at home to be enjoyable and not mad at each other because of something that happened at work. That happens sometimes. It does happen sometimes. Yes, and that is the truth of working with a spouse. Mm -hmm. It's not all it's not all peaches and cream all the time. No, right? it's not. It's not. And we've had to learn a lot. Hey, there's Melissa Jacobson. And the pour hole idea is so good. I'm telling you, it's so good. But um, anyway, we're going to let this dry just a bit. And um, I'll you can get... narrate for me if you'd like. I can. Well, why don't you tell them what you're doing there? How you apply hemp oil? Oh, I bet it's our, is it FedEx? I don't know. It's somebody with a, go answer the. Oh, okay. And I'll try and talk at the same time. I have no idea who it is. I am putting on the tongue oil. What I'll do is after maybe about 15 minutes where I put it on, I will go back with a paper towel or a soft cloth, like a t-shirt or something like that, and wipe all the excess off. So if you time me, 
Within 15 minutes, I'll take the hemp oil off that drawer. I've already done this side over here. Okay. So I'll go back to that. What I'll do is probably leak frag. This one will come off in another five or six minutes. Okay. And that's the notes for you, honey. Big L62. Yep, Big L62 today. <laughs> It's just, I use actually a, a blue rag, a blue paper rag. Oops. And I also knock things over, too. That's my paint job, honey. Well, well, I don't think I heard it too much. And since I only have one glove, I don't care. I'll get my other hand dirty. Hi, Sandy. Hi, Barb. I mean, you can kind of see where it's brightened things up as I do it. The two other sample items that we bring in will definitely show you what hemp oil can do in a more visual look and serving its purpose. But here, I can even see it's looking much brighter. Um, so... Uh, Judy Gunlock said, I'd rather work with men, less drama. Isn't that the truth? True. It is so true. But yeah, yet you say you'd rather work with women. Men are stubborn sometimes. You know that. Everyone here What? Knows that stubborn? Yeah, he can be very stubborn. He can be. Yeah, he can be. And um, case in point, um, well, there's a certain way to approach you about projects there and is. what we need. And, of course, being um, your wife and being your sweet daughter, Megan, we you still haven't figured still it out. <laughs> it's, we still haven't figured it out, right? No, you haven't. Oh, my gosh. And, and it's. I, I go away a little bit upset. Not mad, but just, okay, you think you guys have figured it out? Then I'll think things out. And the one thing which you can't see behind you is the result of one of those little lack of proper communications that did end up getting done. Yes. Or will be in a couple hours yes. once I'm done. Well, and, and we know, like, I know, like, for, Megan tends to be much more practical. She's much more practical, I think, than I am. <laughs> yes, she is. No, not just much more. A lot more. Oh, come on. Uh, JR. You're wonderful with what you do, honey. Oh, I yeah. have my weaknesses, as do you. Oh, I guess practicality is not one of them, you're saying? No. Oh, my yes. word. Oh, no, crying never works. It never no. works for me. No. I'll, however, we have said it once. We've said it a hundred times. Um, there isn't a staff meeting where uh, there usually are tears at the end of it. Well, not for me. Because <laughs> I'm the one that create them. Not always. Oh, okay. But it's a, lot, it's, it's a lot of personality we're dealing with. Yeah. And But honestly, you know what? We have... I think by working together, we have learned more about each other, uh -huh. and and I think things have settled down a lot over the years. Well, it's, and it's, defining our roles, basically, right? It's, it's everyday growing pain, but we've grown much more over the past five years than I would have ever thought. And if we hadn't grown, the business wouldn't be what it is now. Exactly. And sometimes it means just having to, like, first of all, say you're sorry. We have to do that a lot. We have to be willing to compromise, and we have to have, we can't micromanage. And I know that I'm, I've been terrible at that in the past. Um, I think that you have been a micromanager, too. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not micromanaging. Control. Control freak. <laughs> no, I've always been self-employed. I've always been the number one in the business pretty much all my life. Even when I worked with my dad, he rolled, rolled things over to me even while he continued to work and let me call the shots. So I've done that for 40 years. Yeah. Was that hard for you to like 
for us to start working together in this business oh, gotcha. and see how we have changed even online and so forth. Um, well, I'm grateful for that. There's no question about that. It's still the bits of where I feel I'm right and I won't back down. Right. You know, this is, this is therapy right now. <laughs> the basement somewhat is my space. And I don't Kinda like sorta. is my space. Kinda. My we, <laughs> space. We all share I the space. I control this space. As far as I'm the one that's always cleaning it up, picking it up, sorting things out. That's what I want. And okay. I just need assistance, as do you always need assistance. The first floor is yours to deal with. I Okay. All right. Okay. That's how I and that's that's it's that's how we've been delegated out certain projects. Project Megan's space is in there, and I don't touch that unless... Even though it's in the basement. That's why this new wall is being put up. <laughs> he actually <laughs> built a wall <laughs> to separate the shipping area from... Multiple walls. The rest of his basement. <laughs> yes. Well, but I'm telling you, one of the arguments we have had over the years has been, we want, I, this space that we're in right now, I have been adamant. Like, yeah. I, I have to have this space for photography, for filming, and you're always saying, you know, it just seems like wasted space. And, and wanting to, like, oh. scooch it in closer and closer, but... Honestly, I think we've come up with a great compromise right now with this wall. Yep. And it's actually given me two walls on which to film and and stage mm -hmm. things, which is great. Yeah. And it, you know, whatever you decide to do with it, we'll do with it. As far as boundaries, uh, they boundaries. say. It's boundaries. Yeah, they're not walls. They're boundaries. Ba we, ba you're building well, boundaries in many, many ways, <laughs> What do they say about fences? <laughs> Make good neighbors, right? Oh, Lori Slate said, uh, the joys of being married. It's been 23 years. Now it's a lot better. <laughs> We've been married 27 years? 27. 27 years, up. almost. And, but here's the other thing we can say, I think, is as we've gotten older, we've gotten more tired. <laughs> and it's not worth fighting over. A lot of stuff? Oh, sure it is. <laughs> no, stop, stop it. No, it, it is, is a lot better. It <laughs> is better because you just learn to like whatever, you know, it's just not worth it. Like, it's not worth it for you to say, do you have to be on your phone at home? <laughs> no, I have to say that. <laughs> home is where we're away from the business. That's why we chose where we chose to live. Oh, Patty. Hello and happy anniversary to you. 33 happy years. Happy anniversary. Yeah. So we, I mean, we, I'll tell you what. I don't know that there's many couples that can work together. And I haven't quite figured out how, why that, why it has worked for us. Other than I think, first of all, uh, uh, grace, forgiveness. Oh, oh yeah, not, I thought you meant someone's name, Grace. No. <laughs> I'm joking. I know you are. Forgiveness. Um, Knowing your boundaries. Boundaries, Knowing yeah. Knowing when to not to say something. Yeah. That's yeah. why I'm quiet most of the time. Yeah. But we're, tr we're trying to get JR to do less, well, a little bit less around here so that he can enjoy some of the things that... He wants to enjoy at this stage of his life <laughs> because I don't know if you know this or not, but he is much, much older than I am. <laughs> See, doesn't what, what Social Security comes up for you pretty soon, doesn't it? You know it? what? Just never mind. Never you mind. You know what he, he used to always do? Like, okay, so even though JR had reached that. The AARP age. I don't know. I still think I I thought you never got those notices in the mail. 
I rarely get anything. I think from he them. hid them. I think he no, threw them away before I saw I'm the mail. Serious. But boy, he would sure pull out every one that I got starting from me from the age of fifty. Yeah. And he would just lay them right out for me. What a waste of paper. Right? <laughs> oh my goodness. Just to let you know how things are. What do you mean? Oh, that, that I'm time is approaching. Oh, I see. Yeah, how All many right. years down the down the way? I'm about ready to wipe this all down. Okay, and I'm gonna leave you to wipe that down for a minute. How long do you let it sit there? I use it anywhere from ten to fifteen minutes, depending on the wood itself. This wood is in very good shape. If it's really dry, it's gonna pretty much just suck right in. In this case, it's been well maintained other than just sitting in a dusty element but, but now I don't know if you can see it or not but compared to what it was it's got a little bit of a gleam to it it's it is pretty a little bit shinier it is a pretty finish this is I used to use well it's a similar type thing called tongue oil mm -hmm. and we used to sell that at the hardware store so this it's very very similar it's a natural oil um, and I've read before that sometimes it's almost exactly the same thing but you know, hemp tongue it's just a matter of a natural oils from plant material I will probably do this a second time because there's a few spots here and there that are well when that wood dries out it just soaks that oil up right oh my it looks better already it really really does okay i'm gonna cheat on the back I'm gonna take it judy right now. <laughs> judy said uh well, he's, she's glad we didn't paint it i i have to agree it really is a beautiful beautiful piece well i'm anxious to see what the top's gonna look like on it and it's and not that i i like the idea i know it's a floral it's a dark you know almost mysterious look it really is it's, cool. it's so pretty i do like it and i think it has like these brown tones in it so it was a happy compromise it really was okay. he would not he would not let me put one of my own original artwork decoupage papers on here <laughs> i'm glad you couldn't see my face no pink no pink and in the meantime, no paint not on this I've come to learn to like some pinks versus none pinks. Yeah, mm -hmm. is that right? Mm -hmm. When that came Actually, from yeah, you one did of say. The, the fusion, that last pink that they came out with was just. It was so pretty. But here's another cool thing is that that little project that, and we did it on a live, the. Remember the vanity mirror that we flipped the other way around oh, yeah. and you sanded it back. And when you brought it back for us to work on, I was shocked because you like, I left some of the pink on there because I, I thought it would be really pretty that's and we have it in our cottage. Thing. Yeah. And so that's that little fireplace screen. And, um, believe it or not, the other day I was saying like, Hey, could you, um, I want a different fireplace screen for summer. And you're like, well, what? What's the matter with the pink? <laughs> nothing, dear. Nothing. I just wanted it's a different just, look. Mm -hmm. right. So we work together and we live together. Mm -hmm. And that's as far as we'll go as far as what we do when we live. What? We don't tell our secrets. Um, you don't get near linseed oil anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. I'll t I love the hemp oil. And to be honest with I've like, I've put it on my boots, like my blendstones. Sure. Um, I have conditioned other leather with it. It's really just kind of an all purpose thing. It's just one of those things that you, you just want to have in your home. I think, you know, leather. Is that what you're talking about there? Yeah, no, the uh, hemp, oil. Oh, hemp oil. It's just one of those all purpose kind of things, and you can find so many good uses for it. Hey, 
Leah. No pink. I knew JR was a special guy. <laughs> Leah does not like pink. <laughs> she is not All into right. pink. Hey, that's pretty, honey. Let's turn it that is really pretty. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Could be buffed out a little bit more, but this is this is TV. <laughs> this is yeah, it is. It sure is. All right, so I'm gonna drop this to the ground. Okay. And then we're gonna just show the one sample on the rolling pin. Okay. On the rolling pin, we have a rolling pin and a wooden bowl that we're gonna show you. But we use this also on our like our cutting boards. Because mm -hmm. it's still natural, food safe, as I understand. It, it is food safe, yeah. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is pretty. Thank you for compromising. I thought you were going to stain this. I'm going to, but I'm going to get this on here first. Would you have? Well, this is my project. This is my part. All right. Here's my other part of my project. Here we have an old rolling pin. You got to speak up a little bit, honey. Here we have an old rolling pin. Okay. <laughs> I can use for a baseball bat. But I've taken one side off that I've, well, what I've done, I've prepped, I've just cleaned it off, took a light sanding. Now I have to go grab my hemp oil. Again. Again. I didn't want to spill it. One side I will do, and one side I will not do. I bet you can tell the difference when I get done. So here Look we go. Look at you. You even put a piece of tape on there mm -hmm. to divide that out. When Megan gets back, she is going to be so surprised at um, the project that you finished for our mm -hmm. our inventory area and um, shipping area. She's going to be so surprised mm -hmm. because the last we left it, you were like, I'm not doing, I'm it. Not doing it. It just doesn't make any sense. It just, it just blah, 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 blah. Or that's actually, actually what you sound like. <laughs> Well, you should see what she sounds like at home. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And um, so she is not going to be expecting this. No. So what I'm doing is I am decoupaging this rice paper on. I'm looking for any little bubbles that may appear. And I am using our Funkature um rock hard top coat and then while this is still wet i'm applying the funkature right over top of it and it kind of soaks right down in there's a delivery which side yes <gasps> look at that Ooh, show that up close to that is really pretty isn't that pretty yeah you're good pull back just a touch that's beautiful. Pull back a little bit farther. That's good. Looks cool. <laughs> JR. <sighs> okay. I think my, uh, oh, want me to do the bowl? Yeah, yeah, I do. I'll do the bowl. Yep. Set this down. Let's see if we have any questions. Oh, Lori, you're so sweet. Thanks for making my day. Amazon is at my door, but it can wait. <laughs> yeah, I hear you, Marty. Um, yeah, the, the hemp oil makes such a beautiful finish. Barb, would it be okay on a leather sofa, the hemp oil? Uh, I sample it first. I mean, my issue might be that it won't dry out enough and it still will leave a kind of a film. Okay. Did you catch that? Jer said his concern is that um, it would leave a little bit of a film because it wouldn't have the opportunity to dry out 
and cure. Let's take the back side of a cushion and try it and let it sit for three to five days and see what it does. Right. That makes sense. And then sit on it with a pair of white pants. Oh gosh. To see if it worked. I'm being humorous. Yeah, right. All right. I am checking to make sure I've got everything sealed down completely. Okay, I've done part of this. That's gonna take a lot. That is an old See, bowl. Right now it is, I mean, it is sucking it up so fast. I'm just gonna do the interior right now. And then I'll do the exterior tomorrow. And I'll probably do up to three coats just to get it up to Go try this. Moisture content. When you're talking down into the bowl, they can't hear you. Sorry. If I talk into the bowl and it reflects like this, no, can they not. hear? No, it's not. Like this? I'm I'm using it as my megaphone. All right. That's what you get when you ask me to be on camera. You're gonna get me. I will go into a quiet mode right now, so I don't mumble. It's all you right now, JR. I know, honey, it's all me. And I don't have a cough button. <coughs> Excuse me. I don't know if you can look close at this, you can look around and you can see how it's already sucking a lot of it up. Probably within 20 minutes, it'll be all sucked right into the wood itself. So, I'm letting it soak, and we'll do the after this part tomorrow. So, um, I'm gonna trade with my wife. I'm done. She's gonna come back on, and I'll go dry her piece. We'll be right back. <coughs> we'll talk to the people. He, he can't talk to you guys. <laughs> no way. Sorry to have left you. Um, okay. Um, yeah, it, yeah. <laughs> Lori, uh, does hemp oil have an odor? It has a very natural odor. It is not stinky. There are no, like, smelly solvents in it at all. So it has a very natural, pleasant odor to it. It's very much kind of a neutral odor. Jar says that I never clean up my mess as well. He never does either. I promise you. Okay, so he is drying the um, my decoupage top. And we want to see what that's going to look like on top of uh, the little cabinet. But, um... And I'll definitely give that a couple of good coats of the furniture um, after it dries. But, uh, let me see. So when he gets that back over here, I'm going to sand down the edges. And I'm going to do a little bit of stain and finishing oil on the edges. And let's see if we have any... Um... Oh, Marty, yes, we're so sorry. Patty, I love that. Thank you for the great advice, Marty. Sometimes gratitude slips away for those that we spend the most time with. I'm sorry to hear about you. Yeah. You know something, um, Patty, that is a really good point. And I will say that in all seriousness, the only thing that makes this relationship at work and at home um, like work out for us is truly like I said before it is a whole lot of grace it is a whole lot of forgiveness and a whole lot of like letting go of little stuff um, not that we're not willing to like hash it out and talk about it but we can come to a place where it's like what's really the most important thing here and so many times um, 
you know, people said, oh, what is, what would happen, you know, like, oh my gosh, with the LNJ goods or your cottage, your beautiful cottage, if, if something happened to it. Well, listen, we settled um, the uh, belongings thing a long time ago, and it was hard getting there. But JR and I both come from a place of, um, if it was all gone tomorrow, we know that we would be okay. We know we would be okay. We're confident in that. And we have had to, in our careers and in our lives and being self-employed, we've had to rebuild many, many times. And not that there hasn't been frustration or tears or, you know, a little bit of blaming each other or whatever there is that couples do. Ultimately, in the end, we know, we know, we know, we know that um, God's got our back. Um, with everything, as long as uh, we use our heads and um, and really um, um, remember those, remember to love unconditionally, really and truly. So um, that is a lesson. Working with your spouse, being together 24/7, can be a challenge. Absolutely, Leah, it sure can. And we will both tell you. It's not always easy, and it hasn't always been easy, but we, we do it, and we learn how to compromise with each other because of that. So, um, listen, you know what? I'm really excited because um, guess what came in the mail today? My issue of the Turquoise Irish Journal. And on page what, honey? 38. Page 38, he had it He had it laying out for me this morning, is an article, and I am literally like, this is, this is the first time we've ever been published in something like this. And I don't want to get emotional, but this is a big deal for we've us. We've spent a lot of hard work. We both have. And... In the Turquoise Iris Journal, there it is. There is a whole article about. That's not us. That's not us. It's our friend Karen Berg. Oops. Well, it's, that's Karen. It's it's a whole article about Ellen J. Goods and what it was like building this business together. Mm -hmm. um, unfortunately, the picture with my dear husband didn't make it. <laughs> so. I'm sorry about that, but I did send no. I did send a picture. I know, but I talk about JR a lot I changed in here. My look, you know, I, I don't know. know, and how we built this together, and so it. Um, I'm so proud of this. I am so proud, and also very um, humbled. We we worked a lot, a lot of years to create this place, right? Yeah, we have. Oh, Patty, thank you. And Patty is also one of the content creators for Turquoise Iris. But if you, it, I, it is the first time I've ever laid eyes on it in print, this particular magazine. And I'm telling you, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Dion has created a beautiful magazine for the creative community. Mm -hmm. I mean, when I looked at it, I was just like, whoa, this is really nice. Yeah. So, and there's just a lot of very encouraging stories in there and great DIYs and the photography, the pictures, all of it. The, everything is so beautifully done. Yeah. And, um, but you can subscribe to it and get the, the print copy four times a year and you can also get a digital description. So, or subscription. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Patty, I can always contribute again. Well, maybe, you just never know, right? So um, I have my uh, decoupage paper on here. Oh my goodness. And JR so kindly. Um, Bowed out of the camera. Yes. Dry it. When this is dry, the paper, oh, it comes off so much easier. Anyway, um, yeah, Patty, I, 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 did you feel the same way when you saw this article and saw your contribution, like for the first time in actual print? It's just, it's kind of like, 
Ooh, it's it's a mo- it's it is unreal, and it's a little emotional too because you're looking at it from a perspective that you've never seen with your own eyes before. Oh, and then someone acknowledges your hard work too. Oh, you saw it on online. Thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much, Kathy and Sandy. We really appreciate it. Thumbs up. Hit that like. Jeannie, you are awesome. Yeah, we need a lot of thumbs up on this YouTube thing if we want to keep it going. For sure. And the comments and all the, all the things, right? But I think you're really going to like the way this looks. And JR, we, we, can, um, we can put that back up here in just a second. Okay. Last night I sent a, a text to our text group um, with the, the sun the sunrise at the lake. Oh my gosh, it was so beautiful. It's always it's always a kick, isn't it? It never gets old no. to see those um, sunsets. When the sun starts to come out over the water, oh my gosh, it, there's nothing like it. So that's when we'll really, this summer, we really do then take the time to, when we get home, to just sit on the deck and relax and kind of reconnect with everything. And enjoy the new sighting. And enjoy the new sighting, exactly, yeah. Are you ready for this? All righty. All righty then. All righty then. <laughs> Okay, so there's the cabinet, and With a gleam in its eye. this is going to be the front edge, and then I will flip the camera a little bit, but what I want to do is I want to be able to um, get a little bit of the stain and finishing oil on here, and let's see how that's going to work. This is cappuccino stain and finishing oil. I did uh, mix this up before we started and I'm going to start on the back side to make sure that the color is okay is that a little too yeah it's almost a little too dark don't you think it is too late now I messed it up well it's an end grain too so it's really sucking that up Did you? Um, Would you go with a stain, just a stain instead, or a lighter? I thought that's what you're going to do. Okay. Oh. This isn't the right. I know. What about? Um, let me check one thing. Let's just. What if we just tried the golden pine? No, well, that's not going to work either. The problem is, you're trying to do. And excuse me for being blunt, you're trying to do TV stuff when you can't do it this way. You need to prepare ahead of time by mixing to blend, just like you do with your painting, okay. you blend. Then you have to blend to make this complement this. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to leave it at this. And um, we are going to let JR blend the perfect stain for this edge it's not as easy as I thought it was going to be but um, let me Did you, is this, uh... I know right oh you might need to get that back down again sorry <laughs> I want them to see the top of it oh, okay. how's your back what back <laughs> all right Okay, yeah. All right, there it is. Okay, that's going to be pretty. But yeah, we definitely need to do a better job of matching up that stain. So I'm going to leave that in the capable hands of my dear husband. But look at how these colors, almost that reddish undertone that's in here, works with that um, mahogany. I think it's over. But 
I guess we're just going to have to agree to disagree. All right. So we are about finished up. And we're going to say goodbye. Uh, whoops. I need to. Where are we saying? Oh, where are we going, honey? We're going to say goodbye. Do you like it with that top? I think the top is really pretty. working on what I messed right up. Now before it I don't always know the best thing to do. I wonder if it would look good just with hemp oil on it. What do you think? How would you test that, honey? On the back side. There you go. Can we test it? So from day one. I didn't listen. I want to get the top mess. We already put. What? Clean up your mess there so I can set this down. We're still here. Okay. All right, that's paint thinner there. Oh, I need to definitely switch the camera angle. Okay, let's. Let's try the hemp oil. I'm going to just come down just a hair. Oh, I'm going to do the right one. No, it's that lever. Pull the lever up. Just pull uh, it. No, just no. push it up. Yeah. There, I want to get... <laughs> I want to okay. get this. Okay, not me. Oh. <laughs> We're going to try that hemp oil on there. I think it's going to be really pretty, Sandy. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Tracy. Try a pecan stain. Yeah. Thank you, Karen. Yeah, we, we, um, oh, fusion paint. The whole fusion paint line is incredible. You know what? I think that's going to be it. Don't you think? No. You don't? Until I see it dry. Oh, okay. He's so practical. So practical. That's why I can't do on one of your cameras. That you can get through and buzz through it and make it look all interesting and everything else. This takes more time and effort to Indeed get it does. Right. Well, I you appreciate you. I know. I appreciate you being with us today, honey. Let me tip the camera up a bit and we will Say goodbye. So, come on I'd like to thank my special guest today, my husband. Cheers. Cheers. No, don't do that. It's safe. <laughs> you you have to like scoop down just a little bit. We're out of camera range, okay. but um um <laughs> the eye roll. <laughs> Stop. Anyway, thank you, you guys. We appreciate you joining us today. And we will see you on Friday. Megan will be back. I'm so excited. <laughs> and I know. I've been, we've been doing shipping and doing and, oh, my, all the things. But we're so excited. And um, I can't wait to see her. But we'll see you on Friday up in the studio. And we'll stream live to YouTube with a fun little project. We might still be on the Mother's Day kick. So thanks for watching, you guys, and uh, we'll see you soon. Bye. Okay. Um, that oil would be a great laxative. <laughs> it would be a great laxative? Yes. Yes, don't drink the hemp oil. <laughs> All right. We got to end this thing. Bye, Mary Jo. <laughs> end.